Hello everyone. Now here is another video on for feature and reissue of shells. Now yes, I have already covered these chapters in my earlier videos of for feature and reissue separately also. Here, you know, are more sums for you to practice and more understanding. And here, dealt with a sum which also has pro rata allotment in that, followed by for feature. All right. So I hope you will enjoy doing sums with me. Let's get started. Company issued 2,000 shares of 10 each at a premium of 2 per share. Payable as application 2, allotment 5, first call 3 and final call 2. Okay, so if we total it up, it is 2, 7, 10 and 2. So the total is coming to 12, meaning the premium is inclusive in allotment because it is not given in the sum. When is the premium payable? So by default, this is, it is payable along with application. Applications for 3000 shares have been received. Okay, over subscription. 600 applications were rejected outright. Fine. So we have to refund the money on 600. So what are the remaining number of shares? 2400 shares. Allotment was made to remaining applications on pro rata basis. Fine. That means we have entertained only 2400 applications. To whom I have given the entire 2000 shares that have been issued. Manoj, to whom 80 shares were allotted. Allotted, okay. When you read this, that time only you should mark. Allotted, not, you know, he had not applied for 80. He had been allotted 80 shares. Failed to pay the allotment money and on his subsequent failure to pay the first call, his shares were forfeited. Okay. This tells us when the shares were forfeited. So, he did not pay the allotment money and the first call money and after that, the forfeiture, before the final call is made. And show journal entries in the books of the company, the final call has not yet been made. So, final call has not been made on any of the shares. Now, first thing, we need to work out a few things. Yes, you all know that this is oversubscription. There are some, you know, money which is, uh, we have received in excess. On those, total we have received, Applications 3000 and shares. How many shares have been issued? 2000 shares, right? Out of this, 600 applications have been rejected. So, money on that to be refunded will be how much? 600 into the application money, which is 2. So, 1200 I will refund, right? Then, excess applications, how much do we have? 2400 minus 2000. This is the excess meaning 400 excess applications I have. Therefore, excess application money. How much do I have? 400 into 2 which is 800. What is the amount due on allotment? Amount due on allotment is 2000 shares into 5, which is the allotment money. 10,000. So I can easily adjust this application money, excess application money with me at the time of allotment, isn't it? Therefore, we don't have to refund any excess. See, nothing is mentioned as to what has to be done with the excess application money. What do we do? We usually Keep it till the allotment and then if at all there is any more excess, we refund it, right? So that is, in that case, we have okay, only 800 and 10,000 will be due on our allotment. So I think we don't have to refund the money. Okay. There's one more shareholder who is being allotted 80 shares. So what is the ratio? If you have been allotted 80 shares, sorry. If total are allotted 2000, how many applications were there? 2400. So what is the ratio of allotted is to applied for? This will be 5 is to 6. Therefore, if you have allot been allotted 80 shares, how many shares would you have applied for? 6 by 5 into 80. Unitary method, we already done this in for feature. Okay, this is 16. So 96. 
Manoj must have applied for 96 shares. Therefore, money paid on application. Excess, meaning excess application money of Manoj that we have is on the excess number of applications. Right? That is 16 applications. 16 into 2, which is 32 rupees. 32 rupees we have in excess of from Manoj, the shareholder who has not paid the allotment money, right? Okay. So when we have to find out the calls in arrears, to calculate calls in arrears, amount due on allotment from Manoj, okay? He was allotted 80 shares, so he should have paid, paid us 5 rupees per share, so that is 400 rupees. Less adjustment of that excess money, 32 rupees. So it comes to 68. 368 rupees is calls in arrears. Okay. Therefore, if we have these calculations ready, we can straight away go to the journal entries. Fine. So, what is the first journal entry? We receive application money. So, bank account debit to share application. Okay. How many applications did we receive? 3,000 shares. 3,000 applications into 2. So, 6,000 rupees we have received at the time of application. Being application money received. Right? Then, the transfer entry, share application account debt to, and there are quite a few things here, we have certain uh, applications being rejected, so money has to be refunded, so uska paisa hum refund kar denge. So refund will be through bank, bank account. We have already found out how much we have to refund. 1200 rupees. So I straight put 1200 here. Of course, this is the entire 6000 I need to distribute. 2. Share capital. Whatever was due on the number of shares issued. Right? 2000 into 2. Right? 4000 should be credited to. Share capital, correct? Or 2000 shares only have been issued. So it should be always with the number of shares issued into application money per share. That done. Two, there is some excess application money to be adjusted towards allotment, right? So that money will be going to share allotment account. That also we have calculated. Excess money to be adjusted is 800 rupees. So 800. 6000 or add these up that comes to 6000. Just check that once. Okay. So what did we do with the application money? Whatever was due for share capital we transfer to share capital. Jitna excess tha wo wapas kar diya bank se. And whatever meaning the re rejection, the amount to be rejected, the number of share on that we have tried, give, given back the money. And whatever we will adjust towards allotment, we have put to share allotment. Now share allotment is due. So share allotment account debt. How many shares have I had? 2,000. And what is the allotment money? 5. So 10,000 I am supposed to receive at the time of allotment. But not all of it is towards share capital. Share capital will be rupees 3 out of that 5 because 2 rupees is 3. So if it is 3 into 2000 shares, 6000 goes towards share capital and securities premium reserve 4000. How 4000? 2000 shares into 2 per share premium. This is what is the amount due on allotment. Fine. Then when we receive bank account debit. To share, okay, sorry, there are some calls and areas also of Manoj. 
calls in earlier's account. Get it? To share allotment. Alright? Now share allotment, total due was 10,000 but we need to adjust this 800. So I am anyways not going to receive 10,000 uh, less 800. I am supposed to receive only this much. So 9,200 I would have received if Manoj also would have paid me the money. But since there are calls in arrears and we have already found out how much is calls in arrears from in 368 rupees. I debit 368 rupees to calls in arrears. Meaning out of 9200 I was supposed to receive an allotment 368 I did not receive. So how much is that? 9200 minus 368. 32, uh, 8. 8,832 rupees. Alright? Correct. Now, this we have received the allotment. What happened after that? We made the first call. And after that, the four feature will happen. Right? So, let us make the first call amount due. Share. First call account. Two. Share capital. Here there is no more premium and all. Right? Okay. So share first call is 3 rupees purchase. 3 into uh, 2,000, 6,000. So we are supposed to receive 6,000 on first call. But did we receive all the money? No. Again, okay. of course, Manoj has failed to pay the first call money also. So Bank account debit, calls in earlier's account debit, to share first call. How much am I supposed to receive? 6,000. So out of 6,000, if Manoj is not paying, Manoj has got 80 shares and the call money is 3. So, 80 into 3, he is not paying me and that I should debit to calls in index. Of course, you will understand that there is no need to adjust anything else here. Whatever excess application money had to be adjusted has been adjusted at the time of allotment. So, up kuch bhi balance nahi hai. Right? Now, out of 6000 I did not receive 240. So, 6000 minus 240 is what I receive. So, this is 60. And this is seven five seven six zero. This is what I have received. Fine. Then this is debited to bank. Till first of all, the story is over. Due and received. Now we need to forfeit. Forfeit you have already done. The forfeiture can be under various situations. Now one. If it is issued at premium, here what is the applicable? It was the, uh, the shares were issued at a premium. In that case, you have to be very careful whether the premium was received or not received. In this case, have we received the premium? We have calls in earlier 368. The excess application money was only 32. Right? So, part of it we have received the allotment money, right? Of course, whenever you receive or anything, you have to adjust which you, uh, you know, uh, towards the allotment money. Here you have 3 rupees towards capital and 2 rupees towards premium. First, whatever has been received and adjust, adjusted, meaning 32 rupees, is adjusted towards capital. Once the entire capital is received, then only we see whether we have received premium or not. So obviously in this case, the premium to receive one means just 30, 32 rupees, it has gone towards share capital. Therefore, we will treat that premium has not been received at all. Zero premium. Okay, so my forfeiture entry would be share capital account debit. I am forfeiting 80 shares. What is the called up value per share? Not the total 10 rupees, right? Final call is yet to be made, meaning 2 rupees per share is still due to be called. Therefore, the called up value is only 8 rupees. So, we debit share capital with 80 into 8. That is the call number. 640 rupees. Then, securities premium reserve account. 
we have not received any premium on the 80 shares. So 80 into 2. Yes, 2 rupees per share was premium. So 160 I had credited to secure this premium of Mohan uh, Manoj's share. So I will debit that amount because this gain never happened. So cancelling security is premium. 2. Calls in arrears because this I am not going to receive anyway. Total calls in arrears is what? 368 here and 240. 240 plus 368 has not been received. Fine. So that comes to 8. 608 rupees. 2. 4 feeder shares. 4 feeder shares are coming. How much have we already received? That is credited to 4 feeder shares. Now we can simply find out from here. This is 7, 800, 800 minus 608 that we have already received. So 92, 192 rupees is what we have received already from whom? Manoj. Correct? Can we cross check that? Yes, of course we can. How many shares did he apply for? 96 rupees. He has paid me just the application money. 2 per share. How much is this? Did he pay anything else after that? No. So, 192 is what he has paid me. So, I forfeited the share. Okay, so till for feature, I guess this is fine. That was a full length sum that we had taken because some students, you know, just uh, do not connect, you know, as when we start just from, you know, I tell them to pass entry for for feature and read. So now you've got the connection, I hope, right from application to for feature. How it goes, yeah. So in the previous sum we have seen that we had pro rata allotment and the entire entries right from beginning we did and then at the end we have forfeited the shares. Usually uh, uh, either you get a long sum, full length sum like that including reissue also which we will be doing in the uh, other videos, reissue videos and uh, otherwise you will just have you know small little sums like these where you have forfeiture and then reissue entries. Alright. So I hope you have uh, got a pretty good idea about how things go like that. So let us take two more small sums where it is only for feature and reissue. A little more of practice. Sum here says Zen Limited forfeited 200 shares of 10 issued at premium of 5 per share. Held by Shyam for non-payment of allotment of rupees 8 per share including premium. First call, 2 per share. And final call, 3 per, per share. So, okay. So, he is not paid me right from allotment till the final call. Meaning, he has just paid me the application money. We have to find that out because it is not given how much was an application. So, if you have issued at 10, the plus the premium, that is 15. That is 15 is total uh, receivable. <coughs> out of that allotment money, 8 you have not received. 2 of first call you have not received and 3 of... Final call you have not received, meaning 13 rupees is calls in arrears. Therefore, 2 rupees is what you have received. <clears throat> and that is what I will be transferring to share for feature because whatever I receive on those calls is what I transfer to share for feature shares account, right? So, this is how you work it out. Fine. So, this done. Uh, these 125 out of these forfeited shares, 200 shares forfeited, where we issue to Sukla at 9 per share, fully paid up. Oh, fully paid up means 10 per share, fully paid, right? But we will be getting only 9. So, we are issuing at a discount. These things being clear, the forfeiture and reissue entries are easy. So, forfeiture, first thing you do, share capital account because capital is reducing number of shares forfeited into the call account. We have made the final call. Okay. So entire 10 rupees is called. These shares are issued at a premium. And premium was not received because allotment money was not received. So you will cancel. Securities. Premium. Reserve. Okay. 5 rupees per share. 
200 shares, so 1000 rupees. So don't forget this, whenever you have issued a premium, you have not received a premium, please debit securities premium to cancel it. Two, calls in arrears, we just found it out to be 13 rupees per share, so it is 26 hundred and two forfeited shares. We just received two per share, so 400. 3,000, 3,000 being shares forfeited. That forfeiture reached. We receive money into a bank account. How many shares have been reissued? So, number of shares reissued into the issue price. Issue price is 9 per share. Okay. So, that would be 1125. Yeah. Then we are issuing a discount, so we will utilize this forfeited shares. Forfeited shares account 125 shares and 1 rupee per share is a discount because this is 10 fully paid up and I am issuing at 9. So this is 125. 2. Share capital. Share capital is 125 into 10, the entire value of the shares. Okay. So, being shares reissued okay. at 9 per share. So, now what else is to be done? Tell me. Yeah. We have at least issued some shares. So, partly my forfeited shares should be transferred to capital reserve. We should never forget the last entry. But since we have not issued, reissued all the shares, so we'll apply that formula. What is that formula? Total amount forfeited is how much? 400. On how many shares? 200 shares, meaning number of shares forfeited. Into number of shares reissued. Reissued are how many? 125. This minus the uh, discount allowed on shares. This we have debited from share forfeited. Is already utilized. So, how much is it? 2 times so 250 minus 125. So, 125 rupees needs to be transferred to capital reserve. Alright? So, we do forfeited shares, forfeited shares account, debit to capital reserve account. 125 and please show the working okay being amount transfer to capital reserve this working should always be clearly shown you can show it below that journal entry itself all right so that is the those are three entries there now let us come to this case where we have vishaka limited forfeiting 20 shares of 10 each seven called up it's not fully called up so, reissue uh, issue at par on which 2 per share has been received. See, it can be given in various ways. Here it was uh, told that what was not received. Here it has been given what is received. So, 2 rupees per share is received. So, therefore, obviously it will be 2 rupees transferred to forfeited shares. So, jo mil gaya hai, wo transfer kar gaya. Out of these 18 shares were reissued at 7, as 7 called up 4 rupees 6 per share. 4 rupees 6, matlab, issue price is 6 rupees. But we are treating it as 7 coiled up, meaning again at a discount of 1 rupee per share. Correct. So let us pass the forfeiture entry. Share capital account debit. Okay. Now how many shares am I uh, forfeiting? 20. Coiled up value 7 per share. Please, majority students make mistake here. They multiply with 10. This is the full nominal. Always keep in mind it's called a value. Two, of course, they were not issued at any premium, they were issued at par. So, no securities premium account. Straight away, I tell it calls in arrears. Calls in arrears is 20 into amount not received. So, how much is amount not received? Received is two out of seven called. That means obviously five was due. Yes, rupees five was outstanding because see here. Forfeited shares will be 
credited with the amount received. How much is received? 2 rupees per share has been received. So, 40 has been received or 140 called up. So, 100 is not received. 5 per share. Hmm? So, being shares forfeited here. Right. Then, we reissue. Reissue at uh, 6 per share. But how many shares am I reissuing? 18. 18 uh -huh. into 6. 18 into 6. How much is that? 1, 0, 8. Correct? Okay. This discount will be debited to forfeited shares account. Forfeited shares account. 18 into 1, 1 per share is the discount. Okay. So, 18 rupees there. And 2 share capital. Again, I am crediting only 18 into 7 because it is considered 7 called up, not fully called up. Hmm? So, this comes to 126. Yeah. Yes, 126. Now, we have to transfer. Again, we use the formula, same formula. You can also, you know, uh, change the formula if you do not understand it that way. How much is the amount received per share being reissued? Received was 2 per share. Reissued is 18, right? So, 18 shares into 2. Meaning, this is the amount I have forfeited on 18 shares. Meaning, number of shares being reissued. And out of that, how much have I utilized at the time of reissue? 18. So, this also gives me the same thing. 18 rupees. That formula also gives you the same thing, basically, right? If I use the formula, what will I do? I will do total amount forfeited. My profit is 40 rupees. On how many shares? 20 shares. And how many shares am I reissuing? 80. That will also give you the same thing, see? 2 into 80. So, amount profited on the number of shares reissued, that also you can you know, use as the formula. So, I transfer this amount, profited shares account debit, 18 rupees to Capital Reserve Account. Alright. So this is it. So be it standalone sums of share forfeiture and reissue or the full length sum, then it doesn't make a difference. Same thing. The concept has to be clear and you should sail through. I hope you have seen my video which is exclusively on forfeiture of shares. Please see that if you haven't seen yet. Okay, children. And I think uh, I've covered almost everything except for, you know, uh, shares issued for concentration rather than cash. So keep watching out for more videos here. And please do like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.